Shalom. Kahalayim la, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim or Kakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone as GMS. Peace and blessings to the occupant of Yahweh across the four winds. This is your brother Batamaya from Great Millstone, Houston, coming to you with a quick lesson. Now, I don't want to say the big thing, but some recent that's been going on is um, these cheap cheeseburgers that has been coming out. You know, they're. It's, it's a national day for just about everything nowadays, but National Cheeseburger Day, you know, you have burgers from between one cent up to a dollar. But hey, I wouldn't eat it if I was you, you know. The prophets have been giving you warning, you know, about indulging in, you know, Esau Edom, which is a self-proclaimed white man, and his, uh, you know, his wicked ways with these food, you know. Uh, but the title here is from Fox Business, McDonald's, Wendy's, and other fast food chains offering National Cheeseburger Day deals for as low as one cent. Wendy's, Wendy's is offering a one cent cheeseburger with the fast food chains app. And another way they try to get you to is through these apps. They try to get you a lot of, you know, perks and things like that so that you can come back and indulge, you know, in, in this. I, I, I hate calling it food because it's not even really food. But I had a few precepts that I wanted to bring out. You know, Lord willing, this is edifying to the hopeful elect. Second Edges chapter 16, verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Now, when you go into victuals, that's pretty much... You know, your everyday essentials, you know, food, water, gas, et cetera, and et cetera. But, you know, that's real cheap to have a one cent, you know, even though they have, you know, dollar double cheeseburgers and things like that at McDonald's. But one cent, five cent, 50 cent, you know, for burgers, you know, this is not 1950 when there, when that was the price, you know, a nickel for a, a cheeseburger or a hamburger, you know, from these fast food chains. Now we're we're living in in inflation, but just recently, you know, that's been a uh, I want I want to say a recall on um, like ground beef. But then again, all in all, it's, this ain't even beef anyway. You know, Whew. I seen a um, a video where you know you had a rabbi, he was going in and he was saying how McDonald's is serving you know human you know. I say human meat mixed in with, I guess, ground meat or whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, people, if you eat McDonald's, then you're pretty much a cannibal. But <clears throat> the ending of the precept is, and even then shall evils grow upon earth. You know, it's bad times. I seen a clip, uh, I believe it's, you know, TikTok or whatnot, but social media. Dude, <laughs> he ate one of these burgers or a couple of them. But he said he was in a restroom for like two hours, you know. Hey, that's a bad time. You know, if you're in a restroom, you know, taking a dump, you know, getting rid of your dung for two hours. And I, hey, that's a that's a very bad time. Swore. Also, you have uh, Kill Gates. He's buying up a lot of farmland. So what he's doing is, you know, they're implementing that, uh, that big pokey inside of, you know, these foods. You know, they have different plants and then they even have like fruits for the uh a peel and things like that so that's part of the sword you know these things are, are to depopulate you know the population the georgia guys don't say we want to get it to down to like what 500 million people when there's like 8 billion on the earth so hey they got to get rid of people somehow some way also famine we already in a famine because they're not even using real meat. So it just goes to show you that we are in a famine. They have having lab grown meat, 3D meat, you know, all kind of meats that have no nutrition. And great confusion. People are really confused. You have a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which make up the Israelites doing videos while eating these cheap ass burgers. And most of you are out of shape anyway. You're not supposed to be consuming that stuff, you know? Like uh, the brother, the head brother in KC said, eat the best of the worst. I believe it was either him or Elder Yashawamba, but one of those brothers said, you know, we got to eat the best of the worst. And that's something that our elder apostles push, you know, 
it, it would be real big on your diet, you know, on your health, especially going into these days, you know, going into fasting. But a couple more precepts and I'll close it. I don't want to drag this one out too long. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So never trust your enemy. You know, they got these one cent burgers, 50 cent burgers or a dollar burgers. Hey, you can't trust your enemy because you don't know what they're putting inside of those meat. But if you don't have, you know, the knowledge to know who your enemy is, then you'll be destroyed. Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, I will also forget thy children. So you you know, you wicked niggas, you know, you're gonna be destroyed. And that goes for both men and, and female, male and female. You know, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all keep eating this BS, you're gonna end up in the spirit world. The Lord is, you know, re rejecting since you're rejecting the knowledge from the prophets, you know, the Lord speaks through the prophets. The Lord is going to reject you. And then ultimately you're going to be ejected into the spirit world. You can go talk to the, you know, Yahweh about Shem Shai. About, you know, your being wicked and, and being hard-headed and stiff neck, you know, from not listening. Because that's one thing our, our people have a problem with is listening. Like I was listening to a story where um, one, <coughs> Salaki, one chick, you know, she told her mom not to eat the, you know, before they released the uh, one cent burgers. And her mom was kind of like, oh, man, why? Like, like you kind of raining on her parade or whatnot when she's actually just trying to save you. But, you know, the older generation is definitely not going to listen. You know, they're definitely hard headed. But, hey, they have piss poor diets anyway. So they so used to eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster and other abominable foods that, hey, they don't see nothing wrong. They believe in Esau eating them because they don't know. Who their enemy is. They don't know the self the self-proclaimed white man is their enemy. So therefore they're gonna follow his ways. And therefore they're gonna receive the same consequence as their um wicked counterpart. And then back in Sirach or Ecclesiastic as Ecclesiasticus, chapter twelve, verse thirteen. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? So when you have a snake charmer, what he does is plays a, a flute or an instrument, you know, to kind of soothe the, the, the king cobra. You know, he'll pop out a little, a little bin or whatnot. And he's moving to the music, but at some point, you know, that, that snake is going to uh, bite you. You know, that serpent is going to bite you. You know, they're going to uh, insert their poison inside of you and ultimately you're going to die. So how much more if you going out here biting into these burgers, you know, that's filled with poisons. If you die, we're not going to have no pity among you because you've been warned on multiple occasions. You know, brothers are constantly doing lessons. And I know a lot of brothers have done lessons on this, you know, this National Cheeseburger Day. But hey. You have to know who your enemy is. Then the last precept I have is Psalms chapter 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. So he's going to talk to you nice like, hey, it's National Cheeseburger Day. You know, it's only one cent. You know, it's 50 cents. It's 25 cents. But it's war in his heart. And when you go into war... You got to have casualties. You know, someone has to be unalive. So in his mind, he, he's trying to reduce the population to 500 million. And a good way is to, as the kids say, you know, finesse. You know, finesse these people that don't, that don't know, you know, that don't have any knowledge of whom their enemy is. But that's all that I had on this lesson. Lord willing, it was edifying and exhorting. Call Lyam La Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone as GMS. 
Peace and blessing to the Akim and a few Aquat across the four winds. Shalom and a Baba Ball.